Right, let's get straight into it with my panel. Former Senator Cory Bernardi in Adelaide and in Sydney, the wonderful James Morrow that you'll know from the Daily Telegraph and, of course, co-host of Sky News Outsiders. Cory, I'm going to go to you first. This staffer of uh, Shaket Mosselman, the Labor MP in New South Wales, his name was John Zhang. He's no longer on the payroll. It sounds like a Jean Le Carre novel, you know, a foreign agent infiltrating government if that's what happened it's subject of allegations only at this stage but the allegation is that he was an agent of the chinese government and he was working to infiltrate australian politics it's a real wake-up call if it's true isn't it well peter it is but why are we surprised we know the chinese communist party has been infiltrating almost every part of Australian society. We've seen the Sam Dastiari affair. We've seen the Aldi bags of cash and any number of allegations. So this is just the latest example of how politicians have been asleep on the watch and have been compromised by the Chinese Communist Party. And we've got to put a stop to it, Peter. James, I'll go to you about this uh, Biden running mm. mate. It's, it's like, you know, the girl sitting at the dance waiting for the boy to ask her <laughs> to stand up, you know, and do the sort of two-step or three-step or something because every day we're talking about who it will be. Apparently he's narrowed the choice down to two. Kamala Harris out of a California senator and former Obama National Security Advisor Susan Rice. A lot of names in the mix. They're the two that's coming. Yeah, the... Who do you think will emerge? Who Look, do you think will get it? There are two names in the mix, Peter, but I think they're both really, really weak. You know, Kamala Harris, uh, former prosecutor, uh, who has laughed about imprisoning marijuana users and actually sent people to death row with, uh, while having allegedly ignored exculpatory evidence. So she's going to make people very angry on the far left, which, of course, is taking over the Democrat Party. But Susan Rice, the national security advisor under Obama, well... She was involved with Benghazi, which is, of course, a very much source spot. And she was the one who went out there and said, oh, no, it was just a video that people that provoked people on YouTube to go and do that horrendous murderous attack in Libya. So these two mm -hmm. candidates are going to be very weak uh, for middle America or the hard left. I think he's going to have to go with somebody else. Corey, just a quick one. Who do you think it'll be? Well, it's Morton's fork. Uh, both choices lead to Joe Biden potentially being president. So it doesn't matter to me. I think uh, it's a dud. The American people will be a loser no matter who he chooses. But I'm still not writing off Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm falling into your camp more and more. James Morrow, Corey Bernardi, thank you very much for your time.